Well, the UN uh, Arms Trade, trade uh, Treaty is being discussed this week. Global gun control. Look at all those beautiful blue helmets. Ooh. <laughs> let's get it. Let's get on to what the United Nations is about. Anyway, thanks to uh, John D. Rockefeller, the banker, let these damn communist socialists into the country, give them some land. Things look good for them. Take over the world, the one world order. Let me explain something to you people. It is not a good organization. It's never been. It was meant to look like it was something, but it has nothing. So food is power. We use it to change behavior. Some may call that bribery. We do not apologize. These are the threatening worlds of Catherine Bernetti, Executive Director of the United Nations World Food Program. Many believe the United Nations is a focal point for a global restructuring process. It's also believed that many of the coming crises on the food shortages, famine, political and social turmoil will lead to martial law, allowing social dictatorships to proclaim and revamping and restructuring our economic system which will solve all the problems, and it will not. The New World Order will recognize that the, pro the produce of the world and natural resources of the planet and its riches do not belong to one nation, but should be shared by all. A fair and proper organized distribution of wheat, oil, mineral wealth, of the world will be developed. The goal is socialism as dreamed by Karl Marx. Okay, we'll get to one more thing here. They're, they got this, they're also trying to sh shove in this um, New treaty from the World Health Organization. They got a new pandemic treaty they want you to sign and embrace, and we know how good the last one worked, right? So you may have asked, is this significant? What does it have to do with the World Health Organization, United Nations, and brace yourself for a trip down memory lane? Just about a month ago, the news broke about the New World, or the United Nations and WHO, conjuring up a pandemic treaty, a move that, re that reeks of sus suspicion. It takes no genius to connect the dots. The treaty is nothing but a vile attempt by the WHO to wield unchecked authority over countries during times of crisis. And they can manufacture a crisis, right? Been languishing for a while. Um, let's see. There are no valid reasons. Let's see. There are valid reasons for concern about this treaty. Bluntly, it puts the WHO and the UN, they have a track record of, that's full of corruption and they have no intentions of helping the, the people. However, shifting focus from more concrete grounds for skepticism, vagueness is the glaring red flag, offering a golden opportunity for WHO to overstep its bounds. In addition, the United States should never trust a health authority with the power to dictate our nation's actions in times of turmoil, period. We got our constitution, that's all we need.
And remember, it was uh, traitors like Joe Biden and uh, John Kerry. They want you to jump into this wholeheartedly. You know, like the who saved the world. We must take a stand. We must stand, scream from the rooftops. No, we must extradite ourselves from this cesspool of corruption. And the first step is to unequivocally reject the WHO, World Health Organization, and bid farewell to the United Nations. I said before, we need to revoke the UN Charter, send them on their way. Stop funding these communist socialist organizations, because that's what they are. They want to use that pandemic treaty to take over the world. That's the, that's the goal. Nothing else changes. Been their goal since day one. They want control of the United States. And the only way they can get control of the United States is to get rid of the firearms. Because the firearms make it possible for the people to overthrow any enemy that's coming into their country. And believe me, if they got a blue helmet on, they are your enemy. There's so much out there on the United Nations and you people need to wake up to what's going on. When I found out about this in, I think, 92 or 93, about how corrupt they were, and then luckily I was able to uh, find a, a piece that uh, the John Birch Society had written. And it put everything to a proper perspective of what I thought and what I felt. When you feel something in your gut, you should trust your gut. You don't trust the government. You trust your gut. Okay, people. Now you know what the heck we're up against. They really, they, they really want this. We must, we must withdraw from the United Nations and reject the World Health Organization before it's too late. Or their plan, plan will come to fruition. So remember that, people. Stay on your toes. Don't let this happen. Voice your concerns. Let me, let, me, let me put it this way. If we lose anything to the, to the United Nations, whether it's a pandemic treaty or the world, uh, or the small arms treaty, once the firearms are gone, the world will become a prison. Think about that. Once they have the firearms or restrict them in any way, it's game over. The world will become a prison and you helped by not voicing your concerns. So, I mean, that's all I can say. I mean, lead a horse to water, you can't make him drink. But that's what's happening out there. If you want to see the whole prison, the whole world, the whole planet under uh, a one world order, then you're an idiot. You're dumb. You're as dumb as the Democrats that are pushing this. You know, I should have put something else up there. Let's see if we still have time. I think I do. And, you know, I keep talking about the Democrats and, and how they, they vote and what they do and everything. I want you to see this. This has been a while back. You also have 70 registered communists in the Democratic Party now holding office in our government. You look there, Jerry Nadler. Maxine Walters. So you have to be, a, if you're a communist, you're supposed to register with the government. I 
Now you think about that and what the hell's going on in this country. Reshape your mind. Now listen to what the hell the CNN and MSBC are trying to tell you. And don't believe John Kerry and don't believe Biden. Don't believe anybody from the United Nations or the World Health Organization. Okay, people. Thanks for watching.